Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and um, this is my BF4 uh, wishlist video. Uh, you know, everyone and their uncle it seems uh, to be seems to be making you know uh, Battlefield 4 uh, wishlist videos on YouTube, and I'm thinking, how are they better than me? So I decided to put some of my thoughts uh, to video, so to speak. Okay, um, first and foremost, I want the Chris Super V added. And, you know, that's a deal breaker for me. It's a badass gun. It looks awesome. And uh, I'm thinking, why would, you know, such a crappy game as Call of Duty have it and not Battlefield? Well, um, I'm thinking some camos might be fun. Sort of like... Uh, like they gave Medal of Honor, uh, you know, camos for every gun. Uh, maybe some ghillie suits uh, for snipers, depending on their mission, you know, like jungle ghillies or uh, desert ones. You know, maybe some cool leaves and camo for the gun itself. Uh, they kind of lightly touched on that in, in Bad Company 2 Vietnam, uh, where the... Um, uh, the sniper rifles uh, had some leaves tied to them. Uh, others want to see the AT4 make a comeback because they like it so much and they loved it in Battlefield, uh, in Bad Company too. Uh, personally, I think it's gonna uh, make a comeback in the end game DLC because, well, a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's probably the most loved and requested weapon from Bad Company 2. And B, it made an appearance in single player uh, in Battlefield 3. Uh, when you took down half the hotel with the sniper in it. Uh, now, personally, I could never take down a chopper with it in Bad Company 2. Uh, but... Uh, there are some insane montages here on YouTube that would have you believe it's possible. So, I'm guessing everyone loved it so much they wanted to make a comeback. Um, also, I want to see some sort of flashbangs or concussion grenades, you know. Uh, throw it in a room, uh, synchronize your breach maybe from let's say two or three doors and just stomp on everyone inside and kill them in one go. Uh, I think that should lead to a lot of great uh, team play moments. As, you know, it would give you a lot more opportunity to play as a team together. And go for objectives, uh, objectives for a change. You know, probably uh, add two grenades without the squad grenade perk. Or maybe have an option for uh, more grenades if no flashbangs are chosen. It seems like an interesting idea. Okay, um, suppression. Everyone's got an opinion on suppression. And I guess I'm no different. Uh, frankly, I like the suppression we have in Battlefield 3. Because I don't really get suppressed that much. You know, if someone's shooting at you, it's it's already too late. Uh, so, it, it makes sense that, you know, suppression makes you get out of the way. Uh, maybe it shouldn't affect aiming, just sort of uh, blur the screen out a bit. Uh, but you still have to, you know, be able to hit what you're aiming at. So, uh... You know, I think the suppression is good where they have it. Um, as far as the map design goes, uh, people want snow maps. Uh, snow maps like in Bad Company 2. Uh, you know, where it's all covered with snow, 100% of the map. Uh, well, we have Elbor's Mountains, which is covered, half covered in snow. I don't know. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Elbor's Mountains because it's so, uh, you know, so difficult to get uh, 
around in it because it's too 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 much change in elevation. Um, personally, I'd like to see some, uh, you know, s uh, fighting inside of cities, you know, like, it's sort of like they have in Aftermath, which is why I like it so much, but even more where you can fight on the, uh, you know, interiors of buildings and then come out into the street and sort of get around in vehicles, but then be able to hide inside houses again or buildings or something like that and um, this brings me to another point uh, for some reason people really disliked close quarters maps I'm um, saying you know close quarters maps are like are all cod like and uh, you know we need more armored kill like maps uh, no, you know, no, you can't seriously call every interior uh, map godlike and every cre clear field with uh, with a tank battle, uh, you know, battlefield like. Uh, personally, I, I like a bit of room uh, clearing, you know, fast moving action. Doesn't necessarily have to be Call of Duty to do that. I mean, Call of Duty doesn't have a copyright on close quarter fighting. But I want to see a bit more maps where you can sort of fight in a close close space in a building and then, you know, take it outside, sort of like uh, the last stage uh, of Rush on uh, Sand cr Crossing, you know, where you uh, come from the outside and in, in inside the bank then. So, you know, could be a lot of fun. Uh... As far as everyone saying that the medic class is hugely overpowered and everyone only plays it because it's so uber, I, I don't think so. You know, I, I spend about 60 to 70 uh, percent of my t total time as an engineer. Um, granted, I used to spend uh, even more time as an engineer um, before. Uh, before the medics were buffed, uh, but I still do spend most of my time there. In my opinion, it's the best um, all-around class, especially with the hordes of enemy tanks on every map. And, um, you know, as far as the recon class goes, uh, things different uh, d definitely need to be changed. I mean, I think DICE went uh, way too far in trying to um, combat camping. Uh, which, by the way, makes the bipod for any sniper rifle uh, pretty much useless. Because, you know, what's the point of um, setting, a, setting it up if you're going to be spotted in a second anyway? Uh, you know... Uh, Recon definitely needs to get uh, rid of the scope glare, and um, you'll probably say no, you know, then everyone and their uncle will start camping. Well, first of all, they already do, and secondly, a sniper needs to remain invisible, you know, that's his job. Uh, you aren't supposed to know he's there. Uh, until you get tipped off by the grapefruit-sized hole in your forehead, you know, as 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 it is, uh, recon only has one way of making points, and that's kills. And that is made impossible by all the all the ways that the sniper is is nerfed. I I I think recon needs to get some sort of a secondary, you know. Explosive, maybe like C4, uh, like in Bad Company 2. Because when a tank comes quietly out of nowhere, uh, you're just sitting there with your scope glare and your in the wind, uh, waiting to die, you know. And another thing is, I think Recon needs to make more, more points per kill. Uh, you know, a sniper is a surgeon compared to an assaulter or something like that. You know, his his work needs to be valued as such. 
and um, also while I'm on recon, uh, motion sensor needs to be a lot more discreet if there is uh, still motion sensor in Battlefield 4. Uh, I think a Sniper uh, Recon must still get the motion sensor, but it shouldn't alert enemies to its location, you know, by pinging non-stop. Because then you just come in, see the pinging, and blow it up immediately. And then there's no use uh, in the motion sensor. Um, I'd also like to see... Uh, you know, I just saw this awesome looking Russian sniper rifle called the Orsis uh, T5000. Uh, and, um, first of all, it looks badass. Uh, sort of like an intervention on steroids. And, you know, I think it might be a nice change of pace uh, from the constant SVDs and SV98s. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Russian and I like all the Russian guns. Okay, I am. I am saying that. Oh, um, before I forget, guided missiles are a b to lock on and to, to, to anything in Battlefield 3. Uh, you look at the target and if there is an enemy vehicle somewhere right close by or next to the target, it will lock on to that. And um, let's say you're flying in a fighter, approaching the target very quickly, uh, you know, stomping on all the brakes you have, and still take five damn seconds to lock on to the wrong target, and then relock the target uh, that you need. This just drives me insane sometimes. I think it needs to be changed. Okay, as far as the vehicles go for Battlefield 4, we're probably gonna see more of the same. I'm almost certain the F-35 is gonna make an appearance, because uh, let's face it, it's the most advanced fighter on the American side right now. And as far as the Russian fighters, even if we see more factions to the game uh, than just Russians and Americans, like, I don't know, uh, terrorists of some kind, or evil, evil doer uh, that has a crazy James Bond-style army, uh, you know, they're still gonna use Russian tech, because, let's face it, it's the best in the world. Uh, okay, so... The Russians are coming out with the with a new tank prototype, and I say prototype because there's only one T90 MS right now, uh, and it was shown at Nizhny Tagil uh, Military Expo. Uh, it it's the new um, overhaul of the already famous uh, T90. Uh, which made an appearance in Battlefield 3, obviously. And it will scale one meter high steps, supposedly, and go underwater over a meter deep, which I, which I think the T-90 did before. Because it's basically the same chassis. And yes, it can fly. Well, not really fly, but jump really high. Um... They've upgraded the 125 millimeter main gun to improve its effectiveness and um, added a remote controlled 762 millimeter machine gun. Um, the Contact 5 reactive armor we see on T90s in Battlefield 3 uh, will be replaced with the Relict uh, reactive armor protecting against, uh, you know, uh, tandem rounds and anti-tank missiles. And the interior is protected by a, a aramid fabric liner. Uh, you know, that's there to protect the crew against uh, shards of metal bouncing around and taking people's heads off, uh, should, should they, you know, be hit. 
um, the shells are now stored in the compartment in the rear of the turret uh, with a blow hatch so it, if it explodes or takes a hit the explosion should be directed upward and uh, not at the crew. Again, all Russian tanks after the T-72, I believe, uh, have the autoloader, uh, which loads shells automatically into the main gun, uh, dispersing with the need for a fourth crew member and um, around 12 tons of armor uh, protection for him. Making the tank around 15 tons uh, lighter than the Abrams, but just as deadly. Um, I'm betting the M1A3 Abrams, or uh, whatever they will call it, uh, will be even heavier than today. Honestly, there isn't a lot of technical spe specs on the M1A3 online, so I'll just have to badmouth it. Uh, not really knowing what it is. Okay, just kidding. I'm not gonna badmouth it. I really don't have anything to say about it. Okay, a quick word about helicopters. Uh, personally, I'd like to see the KA-50 Black Shark or the KA-52 Alligator, uh, which is basically a Black Shark with two pilots. Uh, because, you know, the KA-50 and the 52 uh, have the coaxial main rotors, it makes them a lot more um, maneuverable than single rotor setup. And um, all of Kamov's helicopters, except a couple of the um, latest models, have this coaxial rotor design. But enough about that. Uh, I'd also like to see the Mi-35 in Battlefield 4. Now, you know, the Mi-35 is the latest upgrade to the Mi-24 uh, that made an appearance at Ben Company 2. And I love the Mi-24. It looks awesome and it has just all sorts of firepower with uh, unguided rockets or bombs a big ass 30 millimeter cannon and can transport up to eight troops so what's not to love okay um i think that's a big enough wish list for now um uh, maybe i'll think of something else in the future um i have been crawlers please rate this video subscribe and share it uh also check out my other videos at the end of this one Thanks.